All right, guys, we're live today. I am going to build a website that sells lashes and I am giving it away for free. Now, this is not a giveaway where you can enter. This is one of our clients. Her daughter wants to get into selling lashes online. And I said, hey, let me make the website for her for free to help help her get, all, get her started in her business. She came to one of my master classes here in Atlanta, um, both the mother and daughter. So we have a mother-daughter combo working here to start this online business. The mom sells hair and the da daughter's gonna sell lashes. So it's gonna be, they're get, they can learn from each other. And, and, and they're both in the hair business master class, which if you guys don't know, I, you know, if you're watching this and you're selling stuff and you're not in this class, right? Chia, you'd be crazy because this is, this is the move right here. So we're going to start building this website from scratch. I have a to-do list here. I have a fresh, fresh Shopify store. So, you know, as I have items that I can't do, meaning like bank account information or other sort of stuff, we're going to put it in the to-do list. So after I start building this website, which looks probably like nothing right now, uh, yeah, real basic. Once I start building this out, then we will add the to-do list. And once I give away this website for free, then the client will then have her own jobs to do, but she's in the hair business masterclass. So I'm not even worried, whatever. I do have a nice cup of coffee. Pretty good, pretty good actually. Panther Coffee is this one based out of Miami. Uh, so I do have that and uh, let's just, let's get this party started. So we have a lot to do. Um, one thing they're gonna do is add the domain name so we can just do that right away. So add domain name because I don't want to log into their GoDaddy account, but to add a domain name for people watching, it is register your domain name with GoDaddy. I'm telling you, and it's going to be super simple. All you're going to do is go to settings and then domain names. Where is domains? And then connect existing domains. So they're going to click that connect existing domain button. And it'll automatically populate with GoDaddy. In, it, it'll probably do it with some of the other web services. But honestly, GoDaddy for domains, number one. I wouldn't get anything else from them. They're not sponsoring my channel or anything. So I can say whatever. Um, I wouldn't get anything else from GoDaddy, but domains is good. Uh, one thing with that we want to get started, to get started is we're going to install the Dropship Beauty app. And we're going to go ahead and install this because we want to start importing all the products. And to do oh, Dropship Beauty, to do so, we need the Dropship Beauty app. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed and start installing the products. And I am gonna move pretty quick with a lot of this stuff uh, because I wanna see how fast I can build a Lash website, which honestly, if you do step-by-step, step, it's probably like within an hour or two. Um, so let me just, I'm gonna keep moving really quick. Yeah, I reviewed the privacy policy. So real quick, let's get these imported now and then we're gonna work on the site on the side. But first things first, let's get some products going. Uh, don't need a tutorial because I am very familiar. So look, let me show you how easy, let, let me just full screen it for a second, just because watch how incredibly easy we've made this. Like this is anyone can sell lashes. If you are watching this and you're like, I don't know if I can sell lashes online, watch this, watch how simple this is. You're going to have over 50 styles of lashes here in minutes. Okay. So we're going to just go products right here. Oh, actually, whoa, 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 back up price settings. We have a multiplier here. Because it's lashes, I'm going to make it at least 2.5 times. So what that's going to do is if your cost for the lash is, say, $5, you're going to multiply it by 2.5. So that means it's going to be $12.50, I guess. And you'd make $7.50, more than 100, or no, 2.5 times. I don't know what it's going to be. Let me see what it's going to be. 25 mil. Let me see how this is going to calculate. Let's see. Okay. So let's see. Min price, min price. We're going to add to import list. Now we could import these directly to Shopify. I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you why is because we're here 
and we're going to add these to a collection before importing. Okay. So these are 25 millimeter lashes and we're going to click add to collection and we're going to create a new collection and it's going to be 25 millimeter lashes add to collection. So what it just did is it created a collection in Shopify. And when I import these, see that that's my import move today. It's almost like playing basketball, but I'm not a lefty. Uh, import to store. Oh, a paid plan. Hold up. Let me message my developer. I need to have a paid plan on this thing. Um, okay. So let me make, let me grab my URL and I'm going to I'm actually going to, let's just gift this person a, um, a free membership. So we're going to come back to that. Let me find my developer. If he can't do it, we will, I will do it myself. I'm just on another screen here, guys. So please bear with me one second. Can you upgrade this store quick? Okay, so I'm going to have him up, upgrade our store real quick. And I'm going to say, well, how, many, how many months subscription? Who's watching here? No comments yet. Um, how many months subscription should we give her free? Three months? Six months? I'm feeling good today. I got good coffee. Let's do six months. Cheers. Six months free subscription to Dropship Beauty for me building your website for free. Not bad. It's good to be friends with a guy like me. I am here to hook you up. Okay, so I'm going to tell him to give her give her six months free. So I hope he sees this. If he doesn't, I'm going to go in and do it. Okay, so why I'm waiting for that, we're going to go back. We can leave these here in the import section, okay? And we're going to go back to the online store. Now let's start building this out. She hasn't sent me any photos. I don't know if she has any photos, but that's okay. So let me just start using some, we can start using some uh, stock images and that's fine. Uh, let's see, look at our RG always in the building. RG is going to be a pro at e-commerce, by the way. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so we have not that much done here yet, but we're gonna have to build out the sections uh, pretty much right away. So we're still waiting on the catalogs and whatnot. I'm still waiting on my developer. Maybe I should just log in and do it. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Anyways, we'll build this out. Okay, so let's let's build this out a little bit. We're gonna have the featured products. So we're gonna have a couple different levels of products here. Let's start building out some of the banners and other kind of stuff. So let's do a what. I do like the multi-row guys. I know you're always like, why do you always have a multi-row? Let's do a collapsible content. Okay. So I like having that. That's going to give more information. You guys will see, we can use chat GPT for that. A multi-row and we're going to move that up. I'm probably going to keep the collapsible content at the bottom. We're going to add another featured collection because as, as we're adding these collections, we're going to break it up inside here. Okay. So you're going to have this, right? You're scrolling. Hey, we're going to hit them with products, hit them with information, hit them with products, hit them with information. Okay. Uh, we are going to have, let's see, an image banner. We could have a slideshow collage. We have the multi-column collapsible. Do we want, we're going to have the subscribe to emails in the footer. Let's not worry about that. She's going to have to write some blog posts. So we're going to do that. So we're going to have blog posts at the bottom. You know, I love blog posts at the bottom. We're going to mix it up with, once again, another featured collection. Okay. Let's see. Someone has a quick question here, by the way. Uh, I have a Wix website already. Is it okay to use Wix instead of Shopify? What do you suggest and why? I 100% would not use Wix. Um, there's uh, many reasons I would use Shopify. Wix does a lot of marketing. It gets you guys like for e-commerce. Wix is not built for e-commerce. I wouldn't do it. Even if someone's like, well, it's $10 cheaper or $20 cheaper than Shopify per month. It doesn't matter. Developers aren't building on Wix. And it's not just the Wix website or Shopify. It's all the developers that are building this stuff that's going to help you. Okay. So real quick, that's to answer the question. So you see what we have the format here. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Okay. So you have products information, products, information, products, information. I would say that's a good start. And we're just a few minutes in. 
So let's, we're going to go over to ChatGPT. Let me bring ChatGPT up. Anyone using AI these days? It is fantastic. I'm sure you are in some capacity. So you're going to say, act as a perfect, as a professional makeup artist. Please give me 10 questions and answers about false strip eyelashes. This will be for the information section of my website. This will be for an information section of my website. Okay. Honestly, I can keep it simple because ChatGPT thinks it's going to be a professional makeup artist. So we're going to go ahead and just see what it comes up with. Now, I'm not going to add 10 in this section. So going back, I'm not adding 10 here. Where is that? Right there. Collapsible content. I can probably keep it at four, but here's the thing. I don't know what ChatGPT is going to spit out. I'm live. I'm going to pick 10. I'm, it's going to give me 10. I'm going to pick my top four and we're going to roll with it. I mean, let's just keep this going. Okay. What are strip? This is, this is good. Now, real quick, let me get a little, let me give you guys some inside information, inside information. Are you familiar with the cluster lashes that are wildly popular, probably even getting more popular than strip lashes? They are coming to Dropship Beauty very soon. I'm not sure what the packaging options are going to look like yet. I, I probably can show you guys live this week because I have the samples. Think of the top cluster lash companies. They're making my lashes. <laughs> you guys are good. You have no worries. Look at this. This means no worries. Now let's get back to the program. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are false strip eyelashes? That's a real good one. So we're going to come over here, collapsible row. So all you have to do is click here, heading. That's the question. I'm going to change this because these are all questions. I'm going to change them to question marks, but you can have all sorts of options here, right? So you got to figure, do you want something consistent look over here or what are you going to do? What do you want? Let's see, false tripology. Okay, this is going to be a little AI sounding. So I might just have to false strip and then let's see if it... Uh, Cosmetic enhancement designed to add length, volume, and fullness. Okay, not bad. They are made from various materials, including synthetic fibers. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, let's find the next one. How do you apply? Okay, that would be actually a really good tutorial that we're not going to do at the moment, but I'm sure she's going to add that. Uh, let's see. Question mark again. Okay, let's let's speed it up a little bit. Let's see here. We're going to copy paste and we're going to go over here. Can false, yes, they can be reused. As a matter of fact, the ones that we have on drop shipping can easily be reused 20 to 25 times. But look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you right now, you can use these strip lashes 20, 25 times. These are quality lashes. But if you're out drinking all that Casamigos last night and you're getting home and you're tearing them off, don't expect them to last 20 to 25 wears. You got to put the nice solution. Take them off gently. Place them on the side. Don't be having them, you know, you ever you ever wake up and you have like a false lash on your, never mind. Let's not go there. Let's get back to the business over here. You guys, you guys are acting up. Okay. Can they be reused? Yes, they can. So we're going to copy paste this over. All right, so we are making moves. I see some Facebook messages. Maybe that's my developer. We're going to check in with him in a second. Uh, how do you remove? There we go. There we go, ladies. Casamigos, ladies. How do you remove them? Uh, remove them before you, you know, pass out, please. Okay. And ooh, wrong one. Let's go back over here. Okay, so now already we have some, it says collapsible content. We got to fix that. That's going to say um, frequently asked. Did I spell frequently wrong? Jesus. It is. Let me have another sip of coffee, guys. What are you doing to me today? Frequently asked questions. And you're going to say top quality false eyelashes 
Uh, one thing that we're going to need to do, I'm going to add to the to-do list, is write three blog posts. So I'm going to get on her about getting this stuff in the works and setting this up. And then I'll even help post it and stuff and show you guys kind of the formatting and whatnot of how we post. Uh, let's see. Okay, we definitely don't want the recycle symbol. What are you guys doing here? Okay, so we have that going. Uh, let's see. Let me go over here. Oh my gosh, she has lashes. So I just got the check inbox and in, well, she has photos showing off a little bit. So we're going to be able to use some of these photos today to help build this out and make it look amazing. Uh, let's see here. Let me check some of the photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now these are a little further away. So we're going to have to, I think they're pretty good quality. So we can definitely do some cropping, uh, but we're going to get to that. Okay, so that looks good. So we have that. Sorry, I was looking on another screen. So we probably want her on the front. Let me see if I can find. These are all, I can actually show you guys. These, these photos right here, they're very like, what is that? Horizontal. I need, to, oh, there we go. That's the money shot that I probably need that one. Or that one. I like this wide look. So let's go ahead and download that. Okay. Let me move this back over to my other uh, window. So we have ChatGPT. You did your job. Okay. Now let's, we're going to design this main image. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing in another window. I'm going to go ahead and set up a image 1920 by 1080. That's kind of the standard uh, for one of these banner images here. And then let me move this over and then I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see what I'm working on. Okay, looking good. Let's go like that. So it fits very well. That actually fits very well. So when you guys are taking, let me give you a quick tip if you're doing photos. <sighs> what you're gonna to wanna to do is some photos you're gonna want really wide, some tall, depending on the aspect. So if you're doing a photo shoot, make sure you're getting all different types of aspect ratios for these photos. So if someone's building your site, i.e. me, I have something to work with because if it was all too close, it's going to be so zoomed in, it's going to look crazy on her face and not look correct over here. So we got something we're working with. So this looks good. I can pretty much just use this straight, straight out of the box. Okay, so we're going to say... Um, Let's see what we should say. This is, let me check the one sec. I'm going to put the name in here. So this is Envy Her Beauty. So Envy Her Beauty. Make sure you're always naming your photos, please. Okay, very important for SEO. So we're going to do this as a JPG. Do not use PNG. The file size is too large. And I like to bring it down to 74. The reason why you're doing the quality a little lower is it's going to save on the file size, which means it's going to load faster. If you do any research, you will always see, they say, you got to have a fast website. You don't want people just waiting. So that will help. Okay. So let's see. Envy her beauty. Processing. We're going to put this in. Now, let me show you another quick tip. So it has opacity. It's a little heavy, but it looks good. We're going to click edit, add focal point right here. The reason being, depending on her, and we're going to say envy her, not Evni, envy her beauty uh, lashes. Okay. The reason why you're adding a focal point, depending on the website browser, you, I'm going to light, let me see if I lighten that a little bit. That's better. Um, depending on the browser, it'll show up, you know, you want it to focus here. I can do, I can go ahead and do one of my favorite things and let's go over here to theme settings and I'm going to do animations. I do love the 3d lift that Shopify does. That'll actually make these images move a little bit, uh, when you're going through it. So I think that's super cool. We'll add the 3d lift over here. Okay. So now we're making some progress. We got this here. Let me check in on my developer to see. Nope. He's trying to make me do this like at the same time. So drop shoot. Let me see. One second. I'm going to see if I can get her the free account. Um, ah, 
gosh. Okay. I'm waiting for him to get me the set her up. Okay. So we have, we have some images here. Now they did send some other images and they're good, but I don't know if I want to use all of these. Okay. So this image size is about 540 by 380. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another Canva with that image size. And so give me a second here, Canva. 540 by, th I think it's 540, those images. It's about 540, no, five, yeah, 540 by 480. It's, it's like, they didn't make it just a perfect square. I, I don't know why. So false eyelashes. Okay, so let me show you back what I'm working on. So we can easily grab some photos, some stock photos. She has some photos. I'm not sure the exact ones she wants to use exactly yet, uh, but she can be the main the main image. So she's showing off, but let's get some other photos in here. Oh, that's kind of cute, All right? Let me see. Sometimes you got to see how it's going to work in here. That actually works good. What colors do you guys like? I kind of like that. Okay, so that's a cute photo. I'm not a huge fan of those lashes, but okay, whatever. Uh, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep grooving. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at some other lashes. I want something kind of unique looking or that's going to be eye-catching. That's going to pop with this kind of colorful. So let's do... What do you guys think over here? No, that's more of like, it looks more like we're adding individuals, but something like that. We're adding the strips. Okay. It doesn't have the pop of color, but we're going to keep looking at it. So let's use that. Right. Okay. Let's add one more. Let's look for something good. That's kind of dramatic. That's kind of nice. What do you guys, you guys, let me check the comments real quick. Do we have any messages? Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Not nothing like that. Nah, I like the angles more of like a side angle that really shows the lash or putting on the lashes. There we go. That's literally putting on a strip lash. And I'm going to make it really big, too big, but that's fine. I feel like one of these photos, this photos, we'll, we'll come back. We can use that photo another time, but that photo just feels like it's not, it's not mixing uh, well with, with what we have going on. So, and all this is changeable. So you can see how easy this is. I'm just adding some random photos anyway. Like once I hand the site over, she can have, make sure you have the right uh, size and you're fine. Like you can easily add these lashes. Let me see. Let's, oh, there you go. So that is putting the glue on for the false lashes. So we have three, now see this black and white one? This happens sometimes. Like the black and white one's not working for me because it's black and white and all the others are color. Now, if I did this one black and white and it matched, that would make more sense, but this doesn't make sense. So this is kind of like a before and after. I don't mind that. Eh, it looks kind of weird. What's this one? Oh no, those are color lashes. Are you guys into those color lashes where it's the actual lash has a color? Um, not a fan. Okay, so that's fine. Just something really dramatic. Okay, so that's too close. Why am I struggling over here? Okay, so it's just gonna be some close up shots. That's fine. We gotta keep this thing moving. See, and this is, you can zoom real far in. Okay, so this is applying, make sure you're you're labeling these, apply, false, apply, glue, false, eyelash. And then close up, 
false eyelash. And then we're going to name this applying false eyelash. Okay. Now I didn't even name any of these. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to download these all and it's going to make it a zip file. So I'm going to put it at 74. We're going to download and then we're going to quickly get these things going. Uh, let's see here. Okay. It's going, it's going. And then we're going to be adding them inside here. So that's going to open up in another window. And then let's quickly start adding these because we need to keep this. I'm trying to build this site fast. Once I have access to my, my get the drop ship set up, it's going to be really. Okay. So it's like kind of step one, apply glue. Okay. Make sure you're clicking edit and you're putting, you know, apply lash glue, adding alt text. You can add your focal points, right? So right there. Then you're going to do step two is apply the lash. All right. Okay. We're going to edit it. Apply false eyelash. And we're going to add a focal point right here. We're going to make sure no matter what browser, it's going to be right where the money shot is. Okay. Right here. And then it's going to be basically enjoy your new lash. Done. Okay. So it's close up false eyelash. And then we're going to add a focal point right here. That's fine. I probably didn't even need to edit that. So let's see what we're looking for or what we're looking at real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's do a quick look. What do you guys think? We're making some progress. Right. Still need to add the captions or whatnot. But it, once I add these products in, it's going to fill it in very nice. OK, very nice. All right. So we're still waiting for developer to see my message and add the drop ship to that. Let me see one more time. Let's see. I am. I'm trying to log in, but it's hard to do when I'm live on another screen. Okay, so we're going to keep moving. So let's let's think about this. We're going to need to have the settings and the policies. So the return policy, we're going to have, I'm just going to create these from templates. And then once I hand over this, oh, once I hand over the site, it is the site owner's responsibility to go in and definitely don't put one of my emails in there. What? It is the responsibility of the site owner to fill that out. So we're gonna add that to to-do list. So at update, update, it says return policy, privacy policy, terms of TOS, contact info, shipping policy. Now, the reason why I did this, because if you have it here, and let me make sure this is all saved. Yep, we're good. The reason why I want to have this, so we're going to say update here. Let's save, is because we can now go over back to the theme, and we're going to add the links at the bottom. So the policy links should be at the bottom. See, there's no policy links. Oh, we're going to get rid of that powered by Shopify. I'll tell you that. Shopify playing games with us. Okay, so we are going to enable language, show policy links. We have all the policies at the bottom. In the interest of we're working in the footer down here, let's go get rid of Powered by Shopify. So you're going to go to themes. You're going to go edit default content here. Powered, search powered. Powered by Shopify. Click there. Click a space. Hit save. Okay. Now, when we go back here, it might take a second to update. And let me get rid of this. See, the Powered by Shopify is gone. You do not want the Power to Shopify uh, down there. Hello, good morning, good morning. Having a cup of coffee with us and we're building websites. I'm giving this website away for free, guys. I'm doing this work for free uh, because that's what I like to do. This is a young entrepreneur. I don't know how old she is, probably like or late teens. 
So for her, even if this business is not successful, she's going to learn so much from this business. I mean, this is amazing. Imagine if you were 18 starting an online business, like you're going to get so much experience. You, you you're probably going to mess things up and that's okay, but that's how you're going to push forward in selling online and e-commerce is fail. I fail all the time. It's okay. You got to just keep going. So she's going to learn a lot from this. Now we got to figure out what the vibe's going to be if we wanted a little dark here or the color scheme, but I'll talk to her about that. We have this coming. Okay. So now that we're waiting for the lashes to be able to be inputted, we are going to, let's just go ahead and create the collections. Products, collections. There's five types. It is 25 millimeter. We already have. I personally always delete this home home collection. It's kind of just already built in, but I don't need I don't need a home collection. So we're gonna say 3D mink lashes. So we had 25 millimeter, 3D, green another. We have um 5D lashes. That's one of the options. And as I import, I'm just gonna choose these um collections as the import. Okay. So you have 25 millimeter, and this is excluded from two sales channels. If you see that, you just go over here and you go manage sales channels. Oh, it's just point of sale and shop. Make sure you have it with shop. Shop is great, guys. That's going to get you some sales. So make sure you have your shop going. And then we have, uh, let's see. So we have three lashes here. So we have thin line lashes. Those are with a real thin band. And then one more, we're going to have faux lashes. Those are very inexpensive, but still look great. Okay, now that we have our collections, these are the collections. Looking good. And they all say lashes, which is maybe we don't need if we have this in our header. So we're going to go over here and let's start building out our navigation. Footer menu. Catalog, contact. We'll keep the contact there. Guys, you don't need the home button. Like here, Shopify adds that by default. Please feel free to delete, delete. Okay, catalog, that's fine. Now, if you wanted something super clean, you could just have one link at the top that just says lashes and have a drop down. But what that does is that makes it so you have to click multiple times. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to show you the example because we're here. So we're just going to put lashes. It looks clean, but let me show you the, pro the problem with this. Okay, when you're building your website, you always want to think, the quickest, oh, lashes. Actually, I'm going to make that not click to anything, and I'm just going to delete this. If you don't want, if you if you don't want your link to go anywhere, you just put the number sign there and save, and then it won't go anywhere. Okay. So look, I'm going to build these collections out real quick in the menu. So we're going to do 25 millimeter. Let me show you the. If you want to, some people do this, which is fine. If you have a huge website, you got to do it like this. But if it's just five sets of lashes, uh, 5D, if it's just these lashes, collections, what do I have so far? 3D, 25, faux, thin line, let's go, let's go. One more, thin line, add, save menu, okay? Now, it's going to be in a drop down. And if you go to the website, it's going to be in a drop down. Well, obviously you would have lashes first. So let me get back to that. Come on now. Right. So you're going to have that. It's going to update. Anyways, you have to click. When you have visitors going to your website, you want always the path to least resistance. If someone has to go to the website and click and then scroll down and click, that's an extra click. You don't necessarily want the extra click. And she doesn't have so many lashes or product categories here that it's going to make a difference. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to go like this. We're just going to bring these over. Okay. We're going to delete this. And this builds it out to look, it gives the appearance that it has more products than it does, even though this will have about 50 products, which I'd have to say is pretty good. That's a lot of lashes to offer. It's, it always takes a second, so I'm trying to get to refresh. Let me click like this. I want to show you guys the difference. Nope, still not doing it. Okay. It, it, it's updating in the background. It takes a little time. No big deal. Okay, so another thing we need is let's look at the pages. We have the contact page. Cool. What else do you need? You need an about page. Okay. 
So let's save the about page. Well, geez, I shouldn't say page. It says about us, right? And let me go ahead and fix the SEO here because we're just going to make it say about, and we don't need to create the URL redirect. Okay, let me do a little quick little update there. Six month trial. Yes, please. Okay, so we're getting her. Um, let's see, building this. Let's see. Uh, we're getting her a six month free trial. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Developers hooking that up. Okay, so you're going to have to go here back to do to do list. This is stuff that you guys need to make lists. Uh, so about us page, add info. Okay, I can tell you already, get a professional email address. It's a little investment monthly, but it's a must. You order from Target and it's target at gmail.com? Absolutely not. Okay, you need a professional email address. Okay, and then the pages, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make her get in here. So we're going to have how to, actually that could be a blog post. Should it be a blog post? Yeah, a blog post is fine. She needs to have a blog post. So I'm already going to create this for her. I'm not going to write it though. How to apply false eyelashes. Okay, so we're going to save that. And then she needs to have blog posts. What other information do you need? If you're going to apply them, how to remove false eyelashes. And I'm going to tell you something really important here in just a second. Let me get these blog posts going. Create another blog post. My nose is acting up. So let's see what we have so far. We have how to apply, how to remove, what's next, how to make them last, how to care for false eyelashes to make them last. Perfect. Hold on one second. Can you make it so I can? Tell my developer to fix that. Okay, so let me go over here. Let me explain something to you guys. Real important for your website. It doesn't matter what industry you're in here. So think, just listen closely, okay? You have to educate your consumer. If your consumer does not know how to put on the false eyelashes and they've bought them from you, right? And they mess it up, who are they going to blame? Maybe you. Oh, these lashes aren't good. They didn't apply well. How to take them off? They just Casamigos night and they tore them off. They don't, they don't know, but they have no idea. They mess them up. Oh, it said you could use them 20, 25 times, but it only worked a couple times. Yeah, you were out drunk drinking tequila. Okay, cool but at least teach them how to do it. Then how to care. Yeah, it sounds cool that someone's, you know, they mess them up and they have to buy them again, but try to teach your consumer about the product so they can they can properly use them. They will last longer. They will continue to buy from you, okay? So that's really important for you guys to do. You have to, you have to educate and see this is why these three blog posts, they're all hidden right now. Let's just make them, let's see if I can do uh, visibility. Let's make them visible. And then you're going to see here, set to visible. Oh, oh, that was just, let me see if I can, actions. Let's see, publish selected blog posts. I'm publishing them. There's no information in there. That's fine. And we'll have to remove me as the author. But let me show you something. When we go back here to the website and we customize it, you're going to have three things. They're going to be right here. We're going to select the blog. I have to do that, by the way. So if you're like, hey, Mikey, the blog posted an update. Not color. Select blog news. Okay. It looks real ugly right now because we don't have the, the photos. Actually, those photos would be pretty perfect, but we don't want it redundant. So I'm not adding it. So we're going to say our, you know, sorry, ambulance going by. Uh, let's see. The Lash blog. That's what we'll call it. She can update it. If she doesn't like the name, the lash blog. Um, okay. 
Okay, so now I just talked to the old developer. Now we're about to move, guys. Buckle up. Let me have a sip of coffee. Hold on. Let me sip it. You know, now that we're the drops of beauty, we should be, you know, ready to go. Let's see. Where did you say? Good question. I personally get all my emails from Google, Google Workspace. It's it, it got a little expensive, but that's just me. I just like it there. I never have problems. And I like G, my Gmail app. I can just go into the Gmail app. That's just me. Um, that's it. Okay, we're hopping back in the Dropship Beauty app, guys. Now we have the products in the import list already, right? And they are going to be add to collection, 25 millimeter, right? We're good. Already good there. Import to store. Okay, now watch how quick this is going to be built out. Im importing to store. See, importing. Okay, back to products. We did twenty-five. Three D minks. Boom. Select all. Add to import list. Yes. Did I click that? Oh, there we go. Import list. These are all three D. Yes. Wait, no, that's 25 millimeter. It's still importing some of these. So let me select all except that one. I don't know why that's sticking around. And then add to collection. These are the 3D mink lashes. Adding to collection. Import to store. Boom. Wait till you see. I'll click over. I'm just going to go ahead. Blah, let me give you a sneak peek. You want a sneak peek? That's fine. Sneak peek. Products already in there for sale. They're still importing. What's up? Is that wild or what? No faster way to build a website like this. Okay. 3D thin line. Uh, let's see. Add import list. Confirm. Go to import list. We're going to select all these. Is that one still down there? No. These are 12. 3D, 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 3D mink, 3D mink, 3D mink, 3D mink. Okay. So we're going to add these to collection. Why does that seem? Did I already add lashes of 3D mink? 3D mink 25 millimeter, 3D mink August. Hold on. Dubai. Wait, what lash category are these? You got 3D mink lashes. Which one did I just do? These are 3D mink lashes. Alice, Amelia, Grace. Hold on. Let me refresh this. Import list. I've already imported 25 millimeter. Let's see, 25 millimeter. It'll say if it's already imported. Re, see, it says re-import. So those are already imported. 3D mink. Those are already there. 3D thin line. Dubai. Oh, these are thin line list. Okay, I got confused for a second. So these... We're going to add to collection. Okay, let me pick this up. Uh, 3D thin line lashes, add to collections, add into collection, import to store. Stay with me. Stay with me. See any questions? No, nope, no questions. Okay. Products, that's moving in the background. This is all happening in the background. Faux, these are the volume lashes, the faux lashes. Okay. We're going to add to import list. Confirm. Go to import list. We're going to add these to collection. We're going to add them to the faux lash collection, add to collection, import to store. We're almost, what? Oh, it probably shows some of these. Okay, that's fine. Products, last one, and then we're done with the import. Already done. 5D. So they're going to, you're going to have to go in and name the 5Ds, add to import list, confirm. Go to import list, 5D, 5D, 5D. See, I don't want to do the daisy else. It's going to give me that warning message again because that one's still importing. Okay, so all those are happening right now. We're going to add to collection. These were the five Ds. Add to collection. Import store. Done. Now, here in a minute, these are still updating. Okay, they're still importing. But you'll see we'll have almost 60 lashes imported ready to sell. So we're going to definitely put rename the, which one is this? Rename 5D lashes. And you're allowed to rename the lashes. So rename. And I'm going to show you how this works. Okay. So this is the list. So if you came in late, this is the to-do list. So when I hand the site over and give it to the client, 
you'll be good. So let me just show you the difference here. So we go here and I'll tell you why you can name it. So 5D Mink Lash, you go here. And the reason why is it has a skew and the skew, we're going to know what the actual lash is. So you're not going to change the skew, but that's it. You just change the last name. So you can make it anything and we'll know the skew of the lash. Pretty good. Some of these, sometimes when it imports, it'll use like a different photo by accident. So all you have to do is just move that photo over. You can clear out some of these photos if you don't like all the different colors. You can actually do that before importing within Dropship Beauty. But I'm just trying to clean this up real quick before we go over and continue to design. Okay, so now watch this. We're going to go back to design the site. By the way, let me refresh this site to see if the menu updated yet. See the menu now? Okay, so that's that's a nice looking menu. We'll get a we'll get a logo for here soon. Okay, customize. Watch this. Top product, 3D mink lashes. So 3D mink lashes, right? We are going to oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's go back. 3D mink lashes. Now let's choose the collection is all. Change collection. Watch. We'll have the site like almost built here in a minute select we want this to scroll across okay so what you're going to do here is we're going to say number of columns five number of products to show we can we can select 10 you know why we can even make it full width because we're going to enable carousel on desktop so it's scrolly scrolly how beautiful is that and that looks great on mobile as well guys watch this we still need to update that by the way see how nice that looks right? But it goes all the way down. So what do you do? You keep going down here, enable swipe on mobile. And then see that? See how you can swipe? It's just clicking that little button. That's how easy it is. I always like to design on desktop, but then design for mobile. Okay. So we have another one here. We'll get some more lashes. So we'll do collection, select collection. We did the 3D already. Let's do some 5D. So featured collection, these are 5D lashes, dramatic 5D lashes, okay? If you don't like the heading size, you can always make the heading smaller to make it a little cleaner. But if you're going to do it there, keep it consistent. I would say keep it consistent. But what I'm going to do is do the same thing. I literally love how this looks, especially if you see a live site with this. Make products full width, enable carousel on desktop, enable swipe on mobile, You'll see we're getting close. Now you could add a quick add button, add to cart right on the page. It's not as clean, but you could technically buy that thing right on top. Now that would be nice. Okay. So we have this. So we have products, educate, products, educate, products. Let's get another collection in here. Homepage is literally almost done. How long have I been streaming for? 48 minutes and I did all that. Literally, you could probably, if I wasn't live, I could probably build this thing almost in an hour and we didn't have a little mishap in the beginning trying to get it so I could do the lashes. So what's another real popular? Let's do the faux, faux lashes because very inexpensive lashes. Let's go ahead and select that. Same kind of thing, small heading size. Let's do 10 products. Full width it, five. So you can do four, but the products will be a little bit bigger, right? I don't want them so big. I want it I want it clean. Carousel desktop looking good. Swipe on mobile looking good. Okay? This website, this is a nice homepage. What the homepage needs? Fix this. Okay? Fill out the text here, fill out the text here, fill out the text here. You already have the frequently asked questions is done. Oh, by the way, if you don't like the view all, I have the view all there. It's not as clean with the view all, so I'm just going to remove it. Let me show you where that, this is a little button over here. View all, get rid of that. Frequently asked questions. Oh, this says featured collection. We don't want that. It has to say faux lashes. Faux lashes, very, very budget friendly, budget friendly option. Then you're going to have the lash blog here, right? So that's going to have a lot of information. The goal should be, once you have your website, publish one blog a week. Challenge yourself. Write that down. To-do list, let me write that down for her too. Publish one blog plus a week. So update, uh, let's see, publish one blog post a week. 
Okay, so that's just a quick reminder. And then we're gonna go over here. Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and we're gonna build out the footer menu. Okay, so because I wanna make it real easy for people to shop, we're gonna go navigation, footer menu. We have the search. We don't need the search in there. We're just gonna add a bunch of products. We're gonna keep this site really simple, honestly. It's gonna be really simple. And you're gonna see what this looks like, collections. 5D. So it's, you got the lashes top and bottom all the way through. But if you're on a different page, if you are on, think about it, if you're on a blog page, I'll show you an example why you want these at the bottom. 5D. Oh, I already did 5D. Hey, you guys didn't tell me. 5D collections. Faux. Thin line. Add, add, add. Save menu. We're going to go back here to, let me refresh this actually. It's saved. Let me refresh. We're going to probably see the menu down here as soon as I add it. Okay. So we're going to add, let's see, menu. Do I have the menu? Footer. Add block. Menu. Quick links. We're, we have the footer, uh, so shop lash collections. Now, this site looks clean, but I, I feel like she's going to want a dark look. So let me just make this footer a little darker. Look up. But if she doesn't, all you have to do is go like that. That's that kind of. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it dark at top. And let's see. Main menu. And then we got to do the header part. Now, we could make it so it's just like that. We could get rid of the header. Honestly, I don't think she needs a header. I don't think she needs an announcement. Her site is so simple. I, I'm going to, you can you can just hide it for now. You can always add it back, but I'm going to hide it for now. If I had her logo, this site would bang. Okay, so let me show you something real quick. Why you want to put this, I'm putting these down here too. We already have the other pages here. She could actually add, let me do one thing because it's about the same. Navigation. A little trick is I'm going to add a link that just says, so this doesn't go anywhere. And this is just going to say more. Okay. We're going to add that. The reason being is we're going to put the contact under here. We're going to put the about page. So pages about us under here. And then as time goes on, she's probably going to add probably like, they're going to want to definitely know the policies, the shipping policy. So I wouldn't put the policy refund shipping. Po well, the refund would be good. Shipping policy. Let's build this out. Don't make it so people have to search too hard for some of these pages. I think a refund and shipping policy. I don't think having this is expensive real estate. Okay. Think of this top menu bar as real estate. So up here, we're saved. Think of this as real estate. Oh, that is looking fire, right? All this is top real estate. You don't need to have privacy policy and all that if you have it in the bottom. People know it's in the bottom. Make sure these are very important kind of links to search, okay? So we can have the logo here. This is looking clean. Now, let me show you something about the blog post is if you're reading the blog and you're going down, it's some long blog post, you're scrolling down, you get to the end, what do you do? You might shop. Just that simple. You might even want to put a collection down at the bottom of the blog post. Let me show you how to do that. I think I can do that. Online store. So up here, you can go directly over to your default blog. And let's see. So you have the content and everything. Oh, a little collection list maybe. What do you guys think about adding some collections at the bottom? What about five collections? Wait. Number of collections on desktop, five. It's not, oh, so we got to add the collections. Here we go. Select collection, 25 millimeter. So what do people, what does this do? When people get to the end of the blog post, it gives them an opportunity to shop. Now that they know how to put on the lash or they learn something about the lash. Collection, foam ink. And one more. Let's see. One more, add collection. Thin line lashes. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
So we're we're instead of just collections, we're going to call it lash collections. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. What we could do, we could even, if, eh, what do you think? It kind of makes it stand out. I like it. I like it. I'm going with it. A, a little gray, so it's a little transition. You got a little transition. So imagine this is a long blog post. It's not going to be like this. So imagine a long blog post. I would say you're looking pretty good at this point. Okay. So we have the blog post. We have this. We got to add the about information. I'm not even an hour in, and because of Dropship Beauty and using the app and getting all the products, we're pretty close to almost being able to sell on this site. But there's a few more things that we got to talk about here. So you're going to have to update the store information. Okay. You're going to have to update under, let me go back to settings, the plan. You're going to have to get your plan. So choose a plan. That's going to probably be the first thing because you're going to have to do that. So choose Shopify plan. I'm going to come up with like a notes where you can just come through here and find all this step-by-step -step. using some permissions. You're going to add staff payments. So you're going to set up activate Shopify payments. So when you, to do that, you're just going to add your banking account information. Honestly, it's super simple. Uh, make sure you activate shop pay installments and whatnot. It's a little bit more expensive. Now we're going to customize the checkout once we have her logo. Uh Oh, don't, don't cap on save savings me. Okay. Customer accounts. We are going to use, uh, let's see here. Login experience. Customer accounts are hidden. I would say login link, new customer accounts, one-time code sent to their email. Very easy. The Shopify new customer accounts is pretty nice. Branding. We're going to have to set up branding. Self-serve returns. I keep off. It depends on the type of products. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you for making your first live. Thank you for making your first live. Yep. Trying to go live every day. I'm literally trying to go live every day. I'm just like, I don't know. Oh my God, guys. Wait, we could be making history. Okay. There's a lot of streamers out there. Is this history? I'm glad you're here for this. I could be the first hair what would I be called? I'm almost like the first hair business streamer. I'll be the, I'll be your first hair business streamer. So you have like the Twitch streamers that play video games and Mickey mouse and do whatever. I might be the first hair business streamer or lash business building online, building sites online. I don't know. Anyway, you guys are here for it. We're making history over here. Shipping. We're going to have to come up with shipping settings. Now you could do two things. Shipping for lashes is generally pretty cheap. You could ship those for free, um, but probably not. Maybe charge four four ninety. There's never going to be something like I'm going to delete these because lashes are never going to be over a pound, like over five pounds. That's that's wild. I would probably say your price for the lashes are pretty cheap, right? I would say you would do a free shipping over a certain amount. Like this is going to be. I would say, honestly, I would do a custom rate name would be free shipping. I would say free standard shipping. I don't want them to think, well, I didn't say if it was express or not. It's free standard shipping. First hair business streamer. What's up? Price is zero and conditional pricing based on order price. Minimum price, $50. So that means I'm, I'm going to show you why this is a little tricky too. If you guys... If you guys see what I'm about to do, $50 free shipping. If you add two lashes to the cart, how much is that? $49.88. You got to get three sets of lashes, guys, three sets of lashes. And let's go into that. So you're like, okay, well, how much, is, how much are you going to make? You guys want to know about profits, right? 5D mink lashes. Let's go over to products. Let's go to 5D mink. So if someone bought it with free shipping, we got to still change the names of the lashes. So let's see if your cost, if you're making $30 on two, you'd be making $45 minus shipping. You'd make like 40 bucks if people bought three lashes. No, $30. No, 45. Yeah. You would be making, that's not bad. Okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, that's not bad. I'm actually going to lower the prices, your prices of the lashes, maybe in like the next week as well. So not bad. Uh, still work with that. So at this point, I mean, I'm in at an hour. We're looking pretty good. Let's see. So shipping delivery, we have free shipping. Taxes, duties, you're going to have to set up taxes. Locations, you don't have to worry about. Gift cards, you don't have to worry about. If you want to sell internationally, okay, that's the markets. Right now, we're not getting into international apps and sales channels you have you know i don't think she's selling in person so i'm just i'm just gonna leave it here for now you got dropship beauty the flow you're probably not going to use but i'm gonna leave it there um you're probably i haven't talked to her whether or not she wants to use shopify email or something more advanced she's going to connect her domain customer events this gets a little more advanced you don't have to worry about that brand we're gonna have to talk about adding your default logo, square logo. We'll probably get that into that into the next live, but that's so you can build out your shop pages and some other things. Notifications, you're going to set up the customer notifications. Customer data, you're not going to really probably touch that. Languages, you don't have to worry about. Privacy policy. Um, look, guys, we're, we're pretty close to this store honestly launching. I bet you if I had the logo and all the colors and everything, and I was like, okay, you're sitting next to me, entering your information. Two hours, we launched this whole store. Honestly, it's it's two hours. Now, is the store done at two hours? Absolutely not. I mean, a store is never done. It's like a house. Anyone own a house? You know how your house is never finished? A website's never finished. You got it? Now, what she can do, if she's smart, now listen, guys, what you can do if you want to, she probably doesn't want to keep doing all these photo shoots and everything else, right? And what has everyone started moving towards? User-generated content. She could set up an influencer platform, easy, Shopify collabs, and start getting influencers. Do you want me to show you real quick, or should I wait till the next one? It's 10 o'clock on a Monday. I probably should be working. But let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's do collabs. Shopify collabs. Let me show you. Let's install this. Now, it's got a horrible, horrible rating, but it's a free app, so you can't complain too much. Let's just go ahead and install Shopify Collabs. Install. I don't know if it's going to let me do this because we're still like in a development store. Uh, real quick questions. Do you recommend having more than one Shopify store hair lashes? Nope, have it all the same. People buy that, buy lashes, buy hair. People buy hair, buy lashes, keep it together. But this client specifically wants to have just lashes and that's okay. That's the purpose of this video. Another question, you're amazing. Well, what are you drinking? The Casamigos early? That's okay. Thank you so much. Uh, in this video alone, you helped me. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm doing this. Okay, so get started. We're gonna have, oh, we're gonna have to set this up, but like the programs... It's going to, I'm going to get her set up. I'm going to get her email and stuff in here. I'm going to show you guys Shopify collabs, but basically it's an easy way to invite people to your store. She's going to have to set up TikTok shop. Oh my God. She's going to kill it on TikTok shop. She's young. She's going to be dancing around, you know, TikTok and like this, oh, buy my lash, but that's not my thing. Okay. I, I'm a streamer now for the hair industry. So set up TikTok shop. Okay. Set this up. Okay, so we got that. She can sell on TikTok shop. So we have that. We're going to have the Shopify collabs. We'll have, oh, what is that bubble? I got a, did someone give me like a thumbs up in a bubble show? Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Did someone give me a thumbs up in a bubble? I don't know how you did that, but that was pretty cool. This program's pretty sweet. Um, okay, cool. Anyway, so we still have some stuff here. I'm building out the list. See the little list right here? Uh, there's more to add to here. But that's okay. I'm going to work with her. I was, I'm, by the way, I'm still, because this is the end of this, I'm still working on the Indian hair website, the, the Indian wear website. I still have some other stuff that I'm trying to get done. So I'm going to come back to this maybe tomorrow or the next day. So think about that. Um, other item of, of business is if you're watching this and you're not in the Hair Business Masterclass, why there's no sign-up fee, well, it's $4.99 sign-up fee because that's just a monthly fee. Like that's wild, no sign up fee because I'm just trying to get you guys, you know, activated in in the community. But we're gonna work on Shopify Collabs. I'm gonna show you more of that and other stuff. Uh, for now, we're in at one hour, and probably within one more hour, which I'll probably do tomorrow, depending if I can get some of the stuff. This site's busy, or like built. She's ready to launch. She's making money. 
just like that. So if you came in late, this is going to be saved. You can rewatch it, go through step-by-step step of building out a whole Lash website. I mean, it's pretty much, guys, it's pretty much done. All right. As your hair business's favorite, what would I be called now? I'm your hair business's best friend. As your favorite hair business streamer, right? Look at this website. Looks pretty good. We can add background colors and other stuff if we want, but we might not. We'll, we'll talk to her about that. But overall, I think it's looking good. It's real clean. You have at the top, you have at the top, it pops like it's darker and then it goes down and then it's like finishes it off being dark and it's, you know, all the products in the middle. So we're looking clean. Um, I need to get into the office, guys. I'm still here at home. So I'll catch up with you soon. Appreciate anybody that subscribes on YouTube. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm at 11,100 plus still. Uh, been there for a little while, but look, you got to put the content out there. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to drink a little more coffee, get into private label, uh, see a private label message me. If you have any